Hello, fifth graders. Can't even call you fourth graders anymore. You've grown up on us. Um, this summer math packet is, is really designed not to create busy work. It's just to keep those math skills still developing. Re realize there's just a few problems each week for you to work on. Please be willing to even do more than what's asked of you con to continue to develop that brain, that math brain. So we're going to be looking at multiplication this week. Um, I'd like to look at the 32 times 18, which is your first problem. And let's just think about this as a partial product. So when we think about as a partial product, well, we know that 10 plus 8 is 18. So 32 times 10 is 320. 32 times 8 is 256. How I did that was I did 30 times 8 was 240. 2 times 8 is 16. 240 plus 16 is 256. Obviously, if we able to do that, we still need to make sure our, our fluency, our math fluency is there. So if you're still developing that skill, you should be working with those flashcards um, to still get those facts of 12 times 12 down as you enter fifth grade. When we have 320 plus 256, that's 576. Now, for me personally, I actually think it's easier to not do it as 10 plus 8 is 18, but to actually do it as 20 minus 2, because 32 20s, well, I just double 32, that's 64, so 32 20 is 640. 32 2 is 64. 640 minus 60 is 580. 580 minus 4 is 576. So I think as a partial product, using subtraction is actually easier than addition with those numbers. Now, when we go to a three-digit number, and we start thinking, I personally think with a three-digit number, area model works the best because of how to organize your numbers. So if I took 124, well, that's the same as 100 plus 20 plus 4. Again, 33, so 30 plus 3. And then I say, well, 30 hundreds is 3,000. 30 twenties is 600. 30 fours is 120. 3 one hundreds is 300. 3 twenties is 60. 3 fours is 12. So when I add all these up, I'm left with 4,092. What I also like about algebra, about area model is that it allows you to use some algebraic thinking. So here's the video that, that I would use to support the June 10th week on multiplication. I hope this helped. If you have any, any questions, please feel free to give send me an email. You know, gharrison at sasaustin.org. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. And have a great week. Enjoy.